right. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us on this Monday afternoon or morning, evening, wherever you are. Um, my name is Katie Callahan. I'm Jane's digital and social media manager. I'm with one of my favorite gals in all the world, Amy Mallon, our director of artistry and education. Aww, likewise, <laughs> Katie. So good to be here. My favorite show. Yes, mine too. <laughs> uh, if this is your first time joining us, welcome to our Clean Beauty Masterclass. We love doing these uh, pretty much every month or when we have a launch. And speaking of launch, I have something very exciting I'm holding in my hands. And this is the first time we've ever done a class on a launch day. So this is a, you know, big, big deal, big scoop. We are going to be talking about our new Glow Time Pro BB Cream, which I have, oh, look at that, you've got three. I love that. Um, we're gonna dig into this new formula, the new innovation, the colors, application process, you name it. We will probably talk about it. <laughs> but if you Even do- Even a live demonstration. Oh, yes. I know. We're going to cover up and conceal some of this skin that you see here. So we're exactly. excited. I know. I'm, I just have the tiniest stitch of makeup on. So <laughs> I hope my lighting is okay and you can see, but we'll go through the process together. Um, but if you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them in the Q&A box uh, or in the comment field and we will get into them. Um, but Amy, should we just, you know, jump right in? Katie, I, there's nothing that I would love to do more than to just jump right into this topic. I feel like that's Let's our routine it. every class is it's that we start with. <laughs> awesome. So um, I would love to know a little bit more about the formula itself. So is this like the quote unquote old glow time? Uh, what does the pro mean? All of that good stuff. What, what's my fast facts I need to know? Yeah, so... In case you haven't been around or you haven't noticed or you've been living under a rock, um, <laughs> us here at Iredale and the brand as a whole has really been going through a lot of change and transition. We've had a ton of innovation, a lot of new products, yes. and really felt like we wanted to take a good thing and make it better. So we took our original uh, gold tube here, if you recall, mm -hmm. and we really talked to consumers, to our retailers, and found out what people loved about it and what they didn't love as much, and capitalized on that when creating the new formulation. So this is a new and improved new formula. It is um, more of a true medium to full buildable coverage. It dries down, it doesn't transfer. Um, it still has a beautiful ingredient deck, exactly. Yes. Um, it has a consistent SPF 25 throughout the range and you can't feel it on your skin. So a yeah. lot of what we heard with the previous formula is that um, you know the rich emollients were beautiful. People love that kind of glowier, velvety look that it gives skin, but you can kind of feel it sometimes exactly. and that it doesn't last the way that we want it to. So this is incredibly long wear, long lasting. It stays on your skin. It gives what we call a radiant satin finish. Yes. Um, which is just absolutely stunning on. And in addition to building out the SPF range, because this formulation was 17 to 25, depending on the shade, mm -hmm. this is a 25 throughout. Um, we also added four new additional shades um, to really round out the shade range. So we really built out the deep and deeper categories mm -hmm. and we built out the more fair categories as well and reworked all of the shades so that um, they were really more workable for our consumer base. So um, as far as ingredients, I know we'll get to this. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, exactly. I know. And we did just get okay. um, one question. Yeah. Um, is this, I, I think what Shipper is asking, is this the glow time and color blended? So we'll probably get to this in a little bit, but um, is it a shade for shade match? So if you're a BB3 in oh. old glow time, are you a GT3 in the new formula? Such a great question. So 
it is not a one for one. However, we do certainly have a shade recommendation for you. Um, like I said previously, you know, we really took a look at the shade range overall, heard a lot of the feedback that many of you had about our existing shades, about improvements that you'd like to see. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, the new formula shades are just even bigger and better than ever. Exactly, exactly. Um, all right, great. So do you, would you like to speak to ingredients? Because I think one of the nice things about this, I should have cleaned this before we joined, I have makeup all over it, but I love the new packaging. It feels so luxurious. It feels like a skincare item with the pump specifically rather than the, the squeeze tube. Yes, that's one. a huge difference with this product now is skincare inspired look. It has the beautiful modern matte white tube. Um, it, you know, the, the product itself just looks great on your shelf. Yes. But also, you know, that pump top that you mentioned, Katie, is such mm -hmm. an important part of this product. And I want to point out, so um, we've gotten some questions about how much product to actually use. Yes. And I know we'll talk more about this when Katie and I do our application, but just so you guys know, this is a very generous pump. So a full pump, I'm going to show you a full pump, what you need to use. So this is a full pump of product. This is really enough for like face, neck, and mm -hmm. decollete. Mm -hmm. This is really um, about a half pump. This is about as much as you need um, really to achieve your Full Your full, yeah. yeah. And then you can kind of build from there. So we found that people really like to pump this product yeah. into their hands, rub it in, rub it into skin. Exactly. And um, that just causes a little bit too much coverage. So yes. you, a little teeny tiny bit is really all you need of this product. Exactly, exactly. Um, which I was so helpful for me when I first started applying it as well. But um, just speaking to the, the sort of skincare inspired benefits of this product, I know it's super nourishing and that was really important to our team when they were updating the formula. Um, so could you speak to a couple of the, the kind of superstar ingredients? I'd love to. So, um, you know, the exciting thing is that we are Jane Iredale, the skincare makeup. So we never launch a product without having some kind of beautiful skincare ingredient inspired story. And this product is really no different. So we actually kept a lot of the same key core ingredients that you would have found in the original formula. Um, things like grapefruit extract, which is a great brightener, revitalizer, helps assist with uh, the appearance of lines, um, apple extract or malic acid, which helps increase cell turnover, has a yeah. nice skin smoothing effect. So you're actually, um, I know you're regenerating yourselves even as you're wearing your foundation. Um, and then we have a lot of really nice kind of like lightweight emollients, sunflower seed oil for one, which is a great anti-inflammatory that's also lightly moisturizing to the skin. So it doesn't feel heavy at all. Wow. Um, it really just feels super lightweight on skin. Like skin, yeah. Like your skin. And then of course, it wouldn't be an Iredale product without our fabulous mineral sun protectant agents. So, you know, throughout the line, if you're not familiar, every SPF product that we have is a physical only sun protection that typically come from zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Mm -hmm. um, this formulation actually has both of them in it. And the, those ingredients are used as a physical sun block so that um, you get this great reef safe, yes. long lasting, water resistant, up to 40 minutes SPF. Exactly. Uh, amazing. Thank you for that. Um, Elizabeth just asked a great question. I know we're going to get to this in a second, but she said, or she asked rather, should we use primer and then the new glow time? Well, Elizabeth, you are asking a fantastic question. So <laughs> the great thing about this product is that it's really nice standalone, or you can pair it with anything to really enhance it. So um, I love that you asked that because Katie and I did a little prep work right before <laughs> we got on today's masterclass. And um, we both applied a uh, primer to our skin. Um, Katie, which one did you use? Uh, I'm using brightening today, which is just sort of my everyday 
you know, hanging out on the go gal. I used a little bit of illuminating glow um, because I want to look a little glowier. But if you have more oily skin, um, you know, or if you don't want as radiant of a look, you don't have to use this with a primer. It just enhances the overall experience. And if you've ever tried our primers, you know that our primers are unlike anything else. They're just absolutely yes. stunning. Yes. Huge sellers for us for that reason. So um, if you want to pair it with a primer, I highly recommend it. Yes, totally. And we got another question, and uh, this comes up often. I always love to hear your take on this. Um, but uh, Valerie asks, if you wear a separate sunscreen, do you use this over it? Yeah, so the sunscreen that you have on is only as protective as the last layer that you've applied. So you certainly could to add additional protection, but you definitely don't necessarily need to. You could wear this on its own uh, to give you that great SPF 25. Great. Oh, we're getting some great questions coming in. Per usual, we always get good questions in class. Um, Stephanie wants to know who is the best candidate for this new BB cream? Oily, normal, dry aging skin? I love that you've asked that because it, it is all of the above. All of the above. It's really, it's really a foundation for everyone. <laughs> and that was an improvement that we really wanted to make above the original because yes. while this is a gorgeous product, it wasn't the best necessarily on people with really oily skin. So right. this is a product you can use if you're oily, if you are dry, if you're mature, it really is um, the perfect solution for everyone. Exactly. And we have a question that's perfect as we kind of transition into our demo. Um, but Kathy asked, does it provide coverage for rosacea and or facial scars? That's a great question. So a lot of how we're targeting, I feel like I keep saying that this is a great question. But it is. Yeah, it's same, but they are. Um, too. <laughs> so a lot of how we're positioning this is um, really for its use post-treatment. Yes. So not only is this something that you can use to cover um, basically anything, because it really is that medium to full coverage, but it's something that our dermatologist accounts recommend, um, you know, that our more medical clients recommend to their patients for right after a procedure. So there's a lot of ways that you can really use this. Yes. And if you are not having a procedure, you can use it too, just like me. <laughs> if you just want to look pretty and have even skin. You want to look fresh. Um, so Stephanie, Stephanie asked another great question. Is this formula non-comedogenic? It is. So the whole line, if you don't know, is tested for a number of things. That's one thing that I think we don't boast about enough here at Iredale yeah. is the amount of testing that we do. So mm -hmm. we test for things that are mandatory, uh, things like stability and SPF, but also we test for things that are voluntary that no one else tests for like heavy metals. Um, we test for sensitivity. We clinically test all of our products and we test for comedogenicity. So we know that none of our products will clog pores. Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, so let's go ahead. We have a couple more questions we'll get to in a second, but let's go ahead and uh, let's get to the demo. Let's talk about okay. this application right. process. Well, I'm going to start, um, as you would, with a little bit of a shade match. So yeah, I please. actually have those three colors that I showed you guys um, on my palette here. So right here, I'm going to apply. You can see my nice little friend who's joining me. <laughs> Even the best get blemishes. And I'm just gonna blend this out lightly. And I'm going to share um, our store locator link um, so people can go into a location and get shade matched in the way that Amy is showing here. So she's taking just a tiny bit and dragging it down and blending to see which is the best match for her skin. And in knowing, I mean, in watching me do this, just so you mm -hmm. guys know, multiple people can wear multiple shades. So yes, it's not exactly. uncommon for you to have a few that really work well um, yes. for your skin. I'm glad you mentioned that because when we were doing this, uh, a demonstration at the office, there were about four or five people with different skin tones that were all wearing GT4. You know, some were paler, some were a little bit more medium. So it was, it was really interesting to see that and see how it is really a customizable shade and a formula. Um, so I'm glad you mentioned that. All right. So I have all three stripes on and I would love to take an audience poll. I'm going to get a little closer. Which one 
do you feel like you can see the least? So this is three, mm. two, one. Blast off. Three, two, one. Well, I'll reserve my answer. If anybody else has one that they want to say, but I think I know my guess. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> Are we getting any votes, Katie? Not yet. Not yet. Have, oh, we have a couple please, of questions. Type into the chat box. Give us yeah. your vote. But yes, we'll answer questions in the meantime. Oh, we got one from Sherry. One vote for one. Oh, yeah. it is a to little see. hard to. It is a little hard to see. So I think that's why we're not getting many votes. So we might just have to spoiler alert here <laughs> <laughs> and say which is the shade. Okay, sorry guys. The shade is one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> For those of you who voted for one, great job. Great job. Um, Katie, what questions do we have? So um, we have, um, I think this is a good one we can get to maybe throughout the application, but um, some people are curious about the differences between this as a liquid foundation versus something like Dream Tint or Liquid Minerals, um, and then some shade matching for um, what your shade would be in Glow Time Pro versus like a pure pressed or loose powder. Perfect. All right. Well, let's get to applying. Um, and I think we can talk about differences between formula as we do that. So I am going to show you guys the new frontier of application, um, which is something that we've created for you. We like to call it dot blend reveal. And this is really how you get the best experience out of this product. You get a perfect application every time and your skin will look like butter. Are like you butter. ready? Well, to go I'm ready on this journey this. with me. Okay. Well, I'm going to take my finger okay. and pick up on a little bit of shade one because we decided that was the best match. So I'm just going to dot. I can see that now. I think when it was just a little bit, I couldn't see it before on screen. Yeah. I blended it too well. Yeah. I'm just going to dot in the areas where I need coverage. Katie, dot with me. I'm going to dot. So uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to use the back of my hand since I don't have a spatula. And I'm just going to do, I hope everyone can see, just a little half pump here. Hopefully you all can see how much I'm using. Um, and this shade might look a little dark, but that's sort of the beauty of the formula is that it blends in seamlessly. Um, and Amy actually shade matched me before. So um, I did. Dot. And while I'm dotting. Um... Okay, wait, so let's talk about formula first because I yes. know that was a question that came up. So this formula differs from liquid minerals. It differs from dream tint because it really is more of a medium to full coverage foundation. So there's a lot of coverage to this product. Um, and again, it dries down and you can really build up that coverage as well. So if you have any rosacea, melasma, acne, you have great skin and you just like more coverage, this is a really great product for you. Or if you want to shear it out, you can also do that. So right now I have on one layer, I would call this more of like a medium coverage. Yes. So you can yeah. still see some of my freckles through this. Um, you know, and you can still really see my true skin. And then you can add more dots over the areas that you really want to build. So I'm dot and I'm blending. Blended. With my blending contour brush. Blending and then contour the, for whoever just asked, for Mary just asked, blending contour brush. Oh, blending contour. Great question, Mary. And then the third step to this is reveal. So the interesting thing about this formula is that it has kind of a color adaption technology to it. And so um, when you're waiting for it to dry down, it can kind of have a yellow tone. And then once it goes through that reveal process or you wait about 30 seconds, it um, melds right into your skin. Yes, exactly. And I just used, I still have some product on the back of my hand too from my initial dotting. Um, but I'm using shade GT3 and Amy, you're GT1, yes? I am. And I know, so it always looks kind of light on camera. Just so you guys know, this does really match my skin. And then we'll go back in and we'll add some additional color here afterward. Yes. 
Uh, sorry, just answering a question here okay. in our little chat box. Um, we did get another question about SPF. Um, I'm not ignoring that. We'll get to that in just another second. Um, but just to speak through the application again, and Amy, I don't know if we mentioned it, but similarly to um, some of our other foundations, we want to apply in downward strokes, correct? Like uh, amazing things. It doesn't matter as it. much with this one. Um, it really matters with the powders, but this one, I would say, however that blending feels comfortable to you is just fine. If you want to use fingers, if you want to use a brush. Yeah. One thing I did want to note, though, is that because this product has such great coverage, you can actually take it right under the eye area, use it as a concealer. Um, it works really, really well for that. We've actually found that this is like a beautiful concealer. I got, some awesome. cloud, I got some cloud cover I can show you now. I hope I hope people can see. It just sort of looks like I put like a blurring filter on. Yeah. I feel like. Um, and now I can go in and, and spot conceal. And Amy taught me this trick recently. You can use your blending contour brush as a concealer brush, but I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable with, uh, now the sun came back, with, <laughs> with um, something like a camouflage brush. Yeah, I mean, the other thing that works well is our sculpting brush. If you haven't tried this, it just mm -hmm. fits so nicely under the eyes. It helps you to apply and blend right there at the same time. Um, looks good. Katie always looks good. Oh gosh. Um, so let's jump back to sunscreen because I think that's one of the, the things that I love about this new formulation is that it's consistent across the whole range. So everybody gets that 25 SPF um, application. Um, so would you say um, it's more important to, we know that your SPF is your last step, correct? So do you still want to put your SPF on under makeup and then put SPF in your makeup on, if that makes sense? Yeah, so I think you have options, right? You can either um, do one or the other or both. Mm -hmm. um, it really is just gonna be about that last product that you put on. So, um, you know, the especially with a physical sun protective agent. Mm -hmm. um, and then we always recommend reapplying, you know, if you can throughout the day as well, like you would with any sunscreen. Great. Um, oh. Great question. Do, this, do the shades distinguish between cool and warm skin tones? Great question. Yeah. So it does, as I mentioned, have that nice adaptability, um, but we have laid out the undertones for you. So some of them are warm, some of them are cool, and some of them are neutral. Yes. And I will... Um send along the link for Glow Time Pro so you can see it on our website. Uh, I'm using Glow Time Pro as my under eye concealer. So you can see I already have it under here. And it, again, it was just that half pump and I'm still um, picking up my, picking up product from it. Um, and Katie, remind us, what shade are you? Oh, I am GT3. Ah, yes. But you probably can't see that, but it's GT3. <laughs> GT3. Wait too um, so we got another question. Are you saying we can mix sunscreen with glow time? I would not recommend mixing um, just because with any physical sun protective agent, um, you know, if you do mix um, any liquid in with it or any other kind of occlusive agent, you could break down some of the sunscreen. Oh, so. interesting. Uh, Amy, what did you use on your cheeks? Um, so I used our Glow Time, believe it or not, our Glow Time Stick in Glorious yes, um, because it happened to be the one that's on my desk, which is kind of like almost like a bronzy copper. And then um, I'm just tapping a little bit of Queen Bee blush on top, which is a nice pink, just to really round out that color. Non-traditional pairing day. Yes. Well, I think I'm, I'm glad you're, you're transitioning to this because I think one of the um, exciting things about this product is it is self-setting. So we haven't used any other powder. We didn't even use hydration spray for this, which I feel like hydration spray, I have it next to me. It's like my crutch just because yeah. I like it so much. Yeah. Um, I, why not? I mean, you can absolutely okay. use the hydration spray. It's just going to enhance the experience. So exactly. let's do it. Let's crutch and, it up. Yes. I'm using lavender. So how many, someone asked how many brushes we are using. So um, I only used one brush actually. Oh no, I used two. I just lied. Um, I used this guy for foundation yes. um, and then also for the glow time stick to blend it out. And then I used this just to pop a little bit of powder blush on top. And Mary, I'll be honest with you when I'm not applying this on Zoom, I just use my fingers. 
Sorry, Amy. <laughs> all right. It's all right. You can definitely apply this with fingers if you think. Exactly. Yeah. It's just such a beautiful formula. Sometimes I just sort of throw it on. Um, oh, one of my favorite questions. How often do you have to clean your makeup brush? Oh, well, how often do you actually clean them? And how often do you say to? Oh, it's a bad I, connection. I can't hear you. <laughs> so I would say it really depends on how frequently you're using them and how mm -hmm. you're using them. If you are a makeup artist and you're using them on clients, you would want to um, either cleanse or wash between each use between clients. If you're using them just for yourself for self-use, I would say um, every week would be the most ideal. However, for most people, it's every two weeks. Every two weeks. Great. Um, I just put on Pure Press Blush and Copper Wind, by the way. Oh, very, beautiful. Very light. Um, yeah, you can see Katie and I both are starting to have that nice. Is this, I feel like it, it truly is. You know, you put this product on and you're like, is it yellow? What's going on? And it's been, I don't know, maybe three minutes. And I just sort of feel like, did I have a vacation? Why am I so glowy? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of magic. Honestly, it is. It's uh, a really so beautiful formula. It is. And it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel heavy, which I yeah. think is really nice. Um, oh, I love copper wind too. It's one of my faves. Um, so we spoke a little bit about the self setting. And I think, you know, for me, I traditionally have always had more oily skin. So I wanted to set with a powder, but since I've been using this, I haven't had to, I yeah. think because it just sort of, you know, it, it sets, which I think is super exciting. Yeah, it has um, that nice dry down mechanism for sure that just really locks down. it onto your skin. And it's amazing the longevity of wear. I would say upwards of like 10 plus hours for myself personally. Wow, 10 plus hours. Yeah, which for, you know, a natural formula is yeah. pretty amazing. Wow, that's crazy. Um, Amanda okay. asked if it will cancel out redness. Definitely. You yes. can absolutely build the coverage in this product to cancel out whatever you would like. Exactly. And I, I should have waited to put blush on, but I do have redness in my cheeks and it just, it takes it right out. It's, it's, um, I think for me, I prefer to wear a primer just again, it's like my hydration spray. It's a crutch. So I like to set to prep my skin with that. And then I'll wear glow time. And it just, I just feel like my skin looks so even now. Um, it looks beautiful. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, and Valerie, I was just putting on Beyond Lash Mascara, my very favorite. Um, let's see here. We got a couple more questions. I currently use Glow Time BB7. Uh, what are the differences between this and the new product? Um, and I think, again, the, the kind of shade differences. So how would you pick from the old formula to new? Yeah. So as Katie mentioned, you know, I would definitely either reach out to our team or, um, you know, a retailer who can really help guide you through finding the right shade for you. Um, we also have a foundation finder on our website that's super helpful for that as well. Um, but you should be in kind of a similar spectrum um, if you were a user of the previous formula. Like I said, they're not exactly a one for one. Exactly. Um, let's see here. How is this different than Beyond Matte besides the SPF? Yeah, great question. So if you love, you know, the coverage of Beyond Matte, um, you will probably love this formula. It's, uh, it's less matte. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but um, Beyond Matte is really a semi-matte finish. This has that radiant satin finish. So it's a little glowier. Um, it has um, just kind of like a more skin-like look to it. Um, which is really beautiful. And then of course the SPF that you mentioned, also the technologies in the formulation are a little bit different. So beyond that has specific ingredients that assist with pore size, um, with you know, the appearance of pores, with oil production to really help control that oil production over time. This is really all about you know, supporting the brightening aspect of the skin, cell turnover. So it's a little bit different as far as what it does for your skin type. Yes. I love that answer, especially with the, the cell turnover. It's very exciting to me. Um, so we got a couple of great questions that just came in. Um, Bridget says, I have combo oily leaning skin. And I was wondering, will this break up in the oily areas like around the chin or nose? So we actually have, not to get too technical, but there are a couple of ingredients in here that actually help to prevent 
that process from taking place on your skin. It's pretty technologically advanced. Um, there's an ingredient called sterol isosterate, or I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing it, but this ingredient okay. essentially <laughs> is a, it's a bonding agent that helps two unlike ingredients come together. So think oil and water, it helps to hold them together on your skin over time so that you experience less of that breaking up as you go. Gotcha. Oh, she's typing an answer to a question. Um, so I love this one because I always feel like I learn about great pairings internally and from our customers as well. Um, Tracy wants to know, can you mix liquid minerals and the new glow time? So, um, you know, we love a good mix here at Iredale. I will tell you, we learn a lot about these things from you. So I encourage you absolutely to be your own uh, at home cosmetic chemist and keep us posted. But just know, you know, that if you are combining anything that has mm -hmm. a sun protection in it that's physical, I would highly recommend either adding additional sunscreen or, you know, applying a powder on top. That's a great tip. I, I don't think I've considered that before about the SPF in it. Um, so if you do try that, let, please let us know. Send us a DM or an email. Um, all right. Well, I feel like this is one of the fastest classes we've, we've ever had. This, the formula sort of speaks for itself. Um, but just to run through, um, Amy and I both started with a bit of primer. I used brightening today, but you don't have to use primer under this. I think it's, you know, it's, it's hydrating enough on its own. Um, I used GT3 with a blending contour and a camouflage brush, even though I usually use my fingers. Um, and again, you don't have to set this with a hydration spray, but just because I wanted to, I used the calming lavender. Uh, and then I did a bit of copper wind on my cheeks and beyond lash. And then I, I uh, put blossom on, on my lips. Oh, I too. How funny. I thought that was blossom. And it's yeah. one I don't always reach for. Um, yep. And will you run through the, the uh, yeah. prods so that you use? I have um, just some Smooth Affair Illuminating Glow on. Then I added GT1 in Glow Time Pro, uh, a little bit of our glorious blush stick, topped it with a little bit of that bright pop of pink from Queen oh, Bee. So pretty. Thank you. And then, um, yeah, just added a little bit of blossom as Katie did. Love it. Uh, oh, we got one more question. Does the hydration spray break down the SPF in, in Glow Time? It does not, no. It's because a great it question. Is, yeah, that is a good yeah. question. Because it is a mineral SPF, mm -hmm. um, you know, those minerals, um, and we also because we use distilled water in right. our um, hydration sprays, that means they don't have minerals in them. And so they really help, uh, the hydration spray and the distilled water helps to adhere to the skin and to those minerals and help lock them in for a longer wear, but no, absolutely. It does not affect the SPF. Fascinating. I love when you talk about minerals. <laughs> um, all right. So Amy, I added your Instagram in here so people can come and find you. Oh, She's let's be friends. Yes. Um, but obviously reach out to us on social if you like, or um, our team is, is on standby. If you have any questions, um, I'll pop the email in here for our beauty advisors if you do want to chat about anything. Um, but thank you all so much for joining us. This was a blast. It flew by. It did. It did. Yes. Always does with you, Katie. Oh, stop. Go on. Um, but thank you, everyone. We can't wait for you to experience glow time, a, a better way to glow, glow like a pro. Um, and have a great rest of your week, a great May. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, everybody. We love Bye. you guys. Take Bye. care. Take care. Bye, Amy.